Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial of a Jav here, and today I'm playing the game Rust. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing another how-to guide for you guys. This time I'm going to be telling you guys how to destroy walls that you have built. So what you're going to notice is if you back-click on these walls, I can't destroy them. A wall like this I've placed within five minutes or whatever the time limit is, I can easily destroy. You just back-click and you hit that destroy button and the wall's gone. Now, if you can't do that back click and destroy, you do have a few options. So first off, if it's a door or an item that you're willing, you're looking to move, you can unlock the door, pick up the lock, open the door, pick up the door, and now you've got an empty frame. So if you're just looking to update or upgrade doors or something like that, that's how you're going to go ahead and do that. So if you're looking to go from wood to sheet metal, just do it that way. I've seen a few people who want to like destroy the whole wall to do that, and you don't need to do that. Also, if you're on a modded server, just hit F1 and you can do slash remove or slash delete. Now, if you are on an official server, you have a wall that you cannot destroy. You've got a few options. You can go ahead and destroy that wall yourself. If it's a stone or wood wall, you hit it from the soft side. That's going to look like this in the case of stone. And then you'll be able to destroy it after some amount of time. If, however, you don't want to do that, maybe it's a sheet metal wall or something like that, you can go ahead and actually upgrade the wall to the next level and assuming that no other wall in your base is of that level or using that material, this goes for doors too, you just pull all of that material out of your tool cupboard, the wall is going to naturally decay and at some point it's going to collapse. This only works in a few cases, right? A, if you're doing stone to sheet metal, you've got to be able to actually make sure there's no sheet metal in your base anywhere else. Otherwise, it's random. Maybe that wall decays first, maybe second. So you don't want to have your base left open. In this case, too, you're also going to need to pick up these sheet metal doors and replace them with wood doors, which, again, that sort of sucks. But if you're going to be online for a while, if you'll be on online for a bit, maybe this will work. Like, if you've got a stone base, this is something you might be able to do. You might be able to just upgrade that one piece to sheet metal, and then you're good to go. Or even more and more resource intensive, you could upgrade to an armored wall and not let that decay. I know it's not the best way of doing it, but it's the only way that we've got right now, especially if you're on an official server. Uh, hopefully this explains it. If anyone knows of any better ways to do this, please let me know. But in my opinion, this is sort of the best way you can go around about doing it, especially if it's just any wall, anything that you want to destroy. You just upgrade it to something your base doesn't have, and then you can just let that thing decay on its own. Once your base is upgraded to armor, obviously this method does not work unless it's a new wall that's out of stone and then you don't have any sheet metal in between, but that's pretty unlikely. Also, um, this is one reason if you have a full sheet metal base, you might want to stay... Uh, you might not want to upgrade things to that armored, that heavy armor stage until you're sure of the placement of all your walls. Anyways, guys, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm Serial Overdrive. I do a ton of Rust videos. I do a lot of how-to videos. I've tried my hand at some story videos, but those take a while to record, so they're not coming out all the time. But I do have a lot of helpful guides and stuff like that for you guys to use, so... um. I'd recommend you go, go check that out, see if you like it, and maybe subscribe if you do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm not going to drag it out for 10 minutes, so until next time, peace.